push to develop a coronavirus vaccine took a huge step forward this morning. A Ballard woman was the first volunteer to roll up her sleeve and be part of a test, a historic moment in the race to stop the spread of the virus. Cairo 7's Deborah Horn spoke with that volunteer, and Debbie, these trials are going to be going uh, right there in downtown Seattle. In fact, Steve, those trials are happening inside this building owned by the Kaiser Permanente Washington Health Research Laboratory. It's where Jennifer Haller came today to become a part of history. Last night I saw the AP report that, uh, that the first human was, was getting the, the vaccination in the morning, and I thought, oh, man, I think that's me. <laughs> And at 8 a.m., Jennifer Haller made history in the fight to save the world from the deadly coronavirus. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. Uh, the actual uh, vaccination itself felt much like a flu shot. Didn't hurt much. It's very easy. Uh, feeling great. Haller tells us as a healthy 43-year-old mother of two with a salary tech job, she felt she could afford to volunteer. I have a lot of privilege uh, and wanted to be able to do something. I know everybody feels so helpless right now, and I was so excited to uh, be given this opportunity to actually do something tangible to potentially help thousands, millions of people. Infectious disease researchers at Kaiser Permanente are the first anywhere to begin clinical testing of a coronavirus vaccine. They want to give the vaccine to 45 healthy adults from 18 to 55 years old. The vaccine is like a flu shot. It contains no live virus. It includes what is called a messenger RNA of the disease. It provides um, uh, a quicker and more flexible way to developing a vaccine. We called a world-renowned infectious disease specialist based here in Seattle to explain. So you essentially um, have a more flexible manufacturing um, technology and you're leveraging uh, the body to make lots of the protein. Well, what about soreness? Do you have that? at the No, it feels great so far. Jennifer Haller says she is aware of the risks. The value that I'm going to add to um, hopefully for everybody will, will certainly outweigh any risks that, that could happen. Just four people got the vaccine today, but thousands of people are volunteering. Now, each volunteer will get about $100 each time they come to the clinic here. That's just a stipend for what they are willing to do for all of us. Reporting live in Seattle, Deborah Horn, Caro 7 News.